Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth. I am back again doing your mid-April 2015 monthly tarot horoscope. And as a quick update, I am going to be back doing the um, sex and relationship videos for the month of May. I know I missed it for April, but I may be posting those by the end of April. So, um, not entirely, okay? <laughs> um, but um, I have been very busy with private clients, and so it's kind of been a little bit, um, a little bit challenging. So that's okay. <clears throat> that's how it goes. Um, I love all my private clients and I love doing my videos, but I just haven't had the time to do the videos. Um, so, um, I did roll out a spread and I had to pause my computer because my, um, my roommate's dog has been crying all afternoon. She's been in the room. So, um, I didn't want that to be uh, <clears throat> in the background. It's been quite a mournful sound. The animals, you know, I, I can't let her out because I don't have a key. So it's unfortunate. Um, but anyways, um, the, um, I just lost my train of thought. Basically, so <clears throat> the thing is I rolled out a spread, stopped my computer, and I'm ready to go. So we got the, Nine of Cups here. I'm just going to start. Um, and the Nine of Cups is wealth, um, happiness, and bliss. If it's not the number one player, okay? So knowing you, Libra, chances are this is the player. Um, Libra females, this is a guy that you know um, that you're thinking of. You may even be in a relationship with him. Um, I'm kind of getting a tingle on that. And he is uh, Pisces male. Typically Pisces. Could be a Scorpio or Cancer, though. Um, I see this as being Pisces. It can also mean Aquarius, because Aquarius is like their freedom. And this is a guy who's swimming around, footloose and fancy free, okay? So, um, Libra females, if this is your guy, you have, you're focusing way too much on this person. Way too much. So much so that this is, you know... Um, they've taken over your brain, okay? And so you need to drain your brain. It's so funny, in, in art school, I did this whole thing about Beth's brain drain, and I drew all these things that I was thinking about at the time. It was very interesting. But anyways, you need to drain your brain from this guy, okay? Uh, because he's taken over. If you're single, uh, this is wealth, happiness, and bliss, okay? This is financial prosperity. It's a great financial card, okay? Um... Now, you could be gay, and you may have a partner um, who, um, this may be your partner. This is the Knight of Wands, or this could be um, someone that also you're dating. There's a lot of guys in this reading, okay? So it's like the Cancer, no, was it the Virgo? The Virgo video had pretty much all the ladies. <laughs> no, wait, I think it was Leo. The Leo had all the ladies. Um, and so, yeah, I think it was Leo. Which is not surprising, okay? Um, Leo had all the ladies, and, and you're getting all the all the guys, okay? So there's just a lot of guys in this reading. So either you're a guy watching this, and you're maybe, maybe you know financially things are good right now, and you know you have a lot of guys around you. I'm getting some of you have roommates, a lot of roommates, and that's why you're getting all of this because we've got a Pisces, a Capricorn a fire sign dude. Um, I feel like we have another Libra, uh, an air sign, another air sign guy. Um, and this guy that, this can, guy, it can be a girl as well, crossing you is, I feel like this is either a Cancer, Scorpio, a Sagittarius, Leo, or even Taurus. Um, um, or Aries. I think I mentioned Aries. I don't know. Um, but, but this to me, I think is more... Um, predominantly, a lot of times it's a Leo or someone with a lot of Leo in their chart. And so it's funny because, like I said, Leo's got all the ladies. And Libra, you've got all the guys. We put them together. Chances are you're in a relationship with... Uh, a Leo, Libra. Uh, if you're not in a relationship with a, Le a Libra, you could be in a relationship with a water sign male. 
Um, <clears throat> that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Now, it could be that we've got a um, air sign, fire sign combination, but you also, you Libra, have some water in your chart, um, and you're in a relationship with this fire sign dude. Um, <clears throat> But there's some, some interesting dynamics going on, okay? So if it's not people, it's just, especially if you're a Libra female, because we've got all these guys here. Libra females, you are financially good, and you need to work on, um, this card is a lot about paying attention to where you're going, okay? Not getting lost in the clouds, really focusing. Um <sighs> Um, maybe you're feeling kind of footloose and fancy free. Maybe you're enjoying some kind of newfound freedom and, um, you know, you're kind of free of responsibilities. This could be guy or girl feeling this way, okay? And, you know, you kind of have, you know, this person in your life that may have an aggressive approach to things. It doesn't feel like it's you. It feels like you have this Leo female or this Leo male that's kind of have this, you know, aggressive approach to things in your life. However... <clears throat> This could be you in the sense that you may have some strong um, fire in your chart uh, or you could have the, the Capricorn or Taurus or Aries in your chart as well. Um, this is about someone who has a wandering eye. So if I'm putting these two together, the Nine of Cups is a person who's like a player. Um, typically, they usually have three people going at the same time. This is someone who has a wandering eye, okay? Player that has a wandering eye or you're in a relationship with someone who has a wandering eye and wants to be free okay that it could be it I have seen this card several times where they're actually married but they have a wandering eye okay at the very least it's someone who really needs to pay attention to where they're going and slow down and kind of get their head on straight okay so Libra that's my best advice for you work on straightening out your head because right now you're going, you're look, you know, your, your horse drawn wagon is headed this direction and you're over here. You're thinking about who's calling you. You're texting you. You're all you texting people. You're on the phone. Um, you know, you're doing your hair, you're doing the makeup, you know, you're, you're all over the place. Okay. Um, too many things going on at the same time. That's kind of what I feel for you. Um, you're multitasking. And if you're a guy, you're multitasking with other guys. That's kind of how I see it. Now, the foundation is, you know, you've got this um, card that is a very supportive card. So it could be that you're in a relationship, like I said, and um, that's a very good 50, or you were in a relationship, that's a very good 50-50 partnership. Because this is the foundation it means either you're in one or in a distant past you're in one. Because some of you, it's going to be different for everyone. Some of you, and because it, because it can be male or female, because we've got both the guy and the girl in this. Female ladies, in the past, you were being supported by someone. You also may be continue, continue to be supported by that person now. Um, Maybe at one time you were getting some support, maybe some child support or something, and now they don't want to give it to you because you have the miser card, which is what's crowning it, okay? You may also be worried about finances, but you shouldn't be because you have this wealth, happiness, and bliss card. So the miser card, I always say, has two parts. The part where the miser actually has money, actually three parts, but the miser actually has money, like a million dollars worth, but they just don't want to give it to anybody. They don't want to spend it. They're just, you know, if they have to give something, they give something really cheap. Um, or this is somebody who really doesn't have money to give. Um, and everything that they actually um, have, they have to put it towards something. They're penny pinching very tight. They just don't have a budget at all. And, and in fact, there's a lot of lack there. Now there is the third option, which is somebody who's, who has some money, but not much. Just enough, just barely to get by, which is most of the American public. So anyways, the, the, the person here, the um, you know person that, that I feel like this represents, and I feel like this is you, Libra. I don't feel like this is somebody else. However, this could be 
a classic Aries Libra combination because this card always comes up for Aries and I see Aries as being very typically they're you know they can be very giving individuals but typically they like the cheap the word cheap comes to mind when I think of Aries they like things at a discount they like they may like finer things but they like it at a discount basically um, so you may be in a relationship with an Aries okay who may not want to share this is also about a partnership that's unequal. So you maybe want a partnership that's 50-50. Maybe you've had, had one in the past. But the one that you have right now may not be, okay? Um, there's money issues. There's things and concerns about money. Whether you have it, you don't have it, you have some, okay? And in the recent past, you've got this Capricorn dude. And this Capricorn dude can be also a girl, but I see it as a dude. can also just be good, you know, more sk a skill set, working good with working with your hands, good with working um, on tasks and doing stuff, getting things done, things magically just happen, okay? Um, this is also needing to follow the signs. Um, and I always say all lo roads lead to Mr. Right. Mr. Right is waiting for you. So it's like you have a lot of issues with the people, I feel like, in your life, okay? Um, this guy or girl is aggressive, very aggressive and a little bit reckless and they're not paying attention. If this is you, Libra, you've gotten a little bit reckless. This person typically is a cheater and has many multiple partners, okay? Whether they're guy or girl. Um... This person can also be the con artist, and it can represent someone who um, is wearing a mask and doesn't really show their face. It's a magic show. You know what I'm saying? It's a great actor. Okay, let's just say not con artist, but I say a great actor, performer, someone who's um, able to put, you know, pull the the rabbit out of the hat without even flinching. You know, but it also to me. The Capricorn person is more someone who gets things done. So in the recent past, to me, it's just being able to get a lot of work done. You may have some Capricorn in your chart, um, and that's that's that card. But going back to the other issues, okay, so you've got the miser, the person who's penny-pinching, the pen person who's um, who doesn't maybe have money. These people have some issues. And then you have the Five of Wands, which is another person and this is a person who has a lot of shit on their plate, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of bills to pay. This can indicate a fire sign person. Okay, so you've got a couple of fire sign people here in your life. Um, to me, it feels like you're very busy. You're very social. Um, ladies, to me, this is dating multiple guys. Predominantly, it just feels like there's so many and it feels like you're so busy, but at the top of your head, you're worried about money for some reason. And you may not even really have a reason to worry about money. You know, um, <laughs> this makes me think of, and I'm not going to say her name, um, somebody on The Real Housewives, and I'll let you figure out who who has millions and bazillions of dollars and uh, probably is dating around, who knows, and yet they're, they're kind of a penny pincher, they're kind of the miser, okay? I'll let you figure that out. I'm not going to say it because that would be, you know, being negative, and I don't want to be negative in this video, but I'm sure some of you who watch it will be able to figure out who it is. Uh, any guesses, please message me on who that is. Um, so, so yeah, so you've got that going on. Um, if you're single, like I said, um, you know, financially good, needing to pay attention, um, you know, maybe looking for a business partner, maybe if you have your own business, things are good or, or were good. But I feel like, cause this is a great foundation. It kind of colors the whole thing. So I feel like it's, in the end, it will be good. If you're a businesswoman, business man, whichever you are, business is going to be good, okay? Uh, you may have a lot of bills to pay, and you may be worried about finances, but to me, it's short-lived. Um, the thing about the miser is being giving no matter what, being open to abundance no matter what. 
um, thinking about giving, even if you're not giving somebody, because in the spiritual world, thoughts um, become reality. Thoughts are reality, okay? Um, so that's kind of where things are at. And um, so moving on to the, la the last week in April, um, in this card in the position of emotions, this is survival mode. So because you have the miser and you have survival mode, to me, in the position of emotions, it is some of you, not all of you, are really worried about money. Some of you are really concerned. I kind of feel like some of you had a business and the business didn't do well and you had to close your business or some aspect to your business isn't doing well. Um, and maybe you're dealing with clients or you're worried about clients. Um, but here's the thing about the miser and the survival mode card. It is all about changing your perspective and saying, I'm abundant. Life is not about money. I have everything I need right now. I'm going to get through this. This is just a brief period in time. Um, now, Libra ladies, this is a bad dude, okay? So you may have feelings for someone who is negative, okay? Um, and in that case, you, you have other options. Okay, you have these other guys to choose from. Don't be too picky, okay? Because I feel like you're being really picky and it's unnecessary. Again, kind of like the Leo. For some reason, it's like you're dating and you're just like not seeing the best qualities in these people. Um, or you're not going into it like with sincerity. You're just kind of, in a way, fucking it up for everyone else because for those people who really do want a relationship, they're, they're not able to find it because everybody's, you know, kind of fucked them over. So they're, everybody's got starting to be like, well, I don't want a relationship. I don't want a relationship. And they just fuck each other and that's it. And that's why it's, it's kind of negative. So I feel like if you're dating around, um, you need to figure out what's the point of you dating. Um, a lot of people are just out to have fun and out to have a good time. And I feel like a lot of you Libras are kind of doing that. There's nothing wrong in that as long as you're not in a relationship. For those of you who are in a relationship and this, all these guys is part of your cheating situation, it's, it's going to turn out to be negative because the outcome is negative. So you don't want it to be collective where you're, you're kind of incurring um, <laughs> the Wrath of Khan, <laughs> which is Star Trek, <laughs> Star Trek reference, but, uh, the Wrath of a Karma, okay, which would be, um, negative for you in the end, because if you're cheating, then other people will cheat on you in your future relationships, whether it's in this life or the next. So, word to the wise about cheating. Um, I wouldn't suggest it, okay? <sighs> so that said... Um, it could just be finances, could be bills piling up, um, if you don't have, you know, situations, you know, drama and stuff, but I feel like a lot of Libras you do, so predominantly for most of you, it's going to be the drama. Um, the rest of you, it may just be bills, it may be finances, it may be concerns about money. Now, it's not, some of it's real, and then some of it's not. Some of it's like, you're worried about bills, but... You're less concerned. You, you need to worry more about um, actual survival. When it comes down to actual survival, bills, I hate to say this, you can stop paying bills and you'll survive, you know. Um, I think I was like chronically late on my T-Mobile bill, my phone bill, for I think two and a half years. <laughs> And I, I, I paid it. I always paid it at the very last second, always, uh, when they were about to cut it off. And even the same day that they cut it off, I would, I would pay it, but I was always one behind, always one behind. I'm not saying, you know, to do that, but I'm saying I had to do that for those two and a half years. I was pretty much destitute. So you got to do what you got to do, Libra, when it comes to your bills. Don't give all your money away to your bills. Um, if you need to put food on the table, put food on the table first. Um, 
and, and stop worrying so much. And, and, you know, I always say life doesn't have a price tag, you know, you've got to do things that are free, do more things that are free, and then you worry less about money. And um, there's always, you know, there's always books about money. So I think Libra, you need to read some financial books on how to save money. You may want to consider getting a second job. A lot of people think that they couldn't possibly get a second job, but a lot of times you can find like little part-time things that are, excuse me, maybe not like long-term, but to put a little extra money in your pocket um, so you're not so worried about it. Um, so I feel like you really are. And uh, you have in the future, at the end of April, you have two really positive cards that are standing out to me together. Um, it's sort of just like this little pocket of prosperity and this pocket of love and this pocket of happiness that you're gonna have. So, you know, this is really great. So you have the world, which is the world being your oyster. This is also someone with a medium, not, well, psychic or medium. I usually see her as a psychic where she can see, she has intuition, she can see the future, she can feel things. Um, it's more she sees things, okay, using her third eye. Um, but this is also in general, male and female Libras. This is feeling like the world's your oyster. You can do anything. You can do it all, okay? And um, on top here, so this in the position of your attitude is you're looking for real romance. You're looking for a real partnership. This is commitment. This is looking for commitment. And um, that's your goal. So it's interesting that you get this commitment card after I ripped you a new one about uh, <laughs> basically about you know ruining it for the rest of us who might want commitment. Um, and you may be you may be seriously dating some of these people, you know. Um, but typical, but I don't feel like it's been serious enough. If this Two of Cups is what you really want, and it is in a position of attitude, and you may have found this already, okay, because this is, <sighs> there's two people here involved, so this is what you may already have. Maybe you, you were dating and you found this committed relationship, okay, and it's good, okay, but for those of you who haven't found it, you're not committed enough, um, and I feel like, I just feel that Real Housewives person who's just very lofty, okay? They just do what they want. They don't really give enough of a shit about other people, you know? So they, there's this game. I feel like it's a game of when it comes to relationships. So some of you Libras are working on your business, maybe you're having questions about finances, questions about how you're going to survive, um, but we already talked about that, you know, questions about bills, but that's going to be temporary. I feel like you're going to get past everything. Um, and it's the, the universe is supporting you and sending you everything you can possibly dream of is, is yours to have if you should want it. Okay. Um, including a positive relationship should you want it. Um, and should you not already be in one? Okay. Um, now here's the tricky little part. The Nine of Swords is the outcome, which is the fear card, which is the negative headspace card, which is worries. Um, this is fear of commitment, okay? So <laughs> for you to have the commitment card in your position of attitude and the fear of commitment card in the outcome, Either you're in a relationship, you want a relationship, a committed relationship with one of the people, one of these guys that you're dating, and they don't want it, or you're the classic Libra that's split down the middle, and part of their personality wants the commitment, and the other part of them is terrified of the commitment, is scared. So... You're going to have to figure out which Libra you are. You know, for those of you who are married, this is having um, negative thinking, fears, you know, fears about the future, fears about how things are going to go. Um, you know, getting stuck in negative emotions, having negative emotions about things. 
Uh, this is, to me, this is someone who's been hurt before. So there's this feeling of like, to me, this is really about relationships because Libras are all about relationships. But, you know, like I said, it may not be, it could also just be negative emotions, thinking negatively for a period of time, okay? Um, it's, it's very hot and cold, uh, but not entirely, okay? So there, again, there's these moments. And then, you know, if, even if you can get over the negative thinking, you're still going to be waiting. Still going to be waiting for someone or something for your ship to come in, okay? I feel like, <laughs> so, leave her females. If you're dealing with this guy who's afraid of commitment or has negative thinking or doesn't want the relationship for whatever reason, he's being a chicken shit, then for some reason you could end up um, feeling quite overwhelmed, okay? Feeling overwhelmed, feeling sad, being upset about the situation, okay? Um, and... You know, I pulled, I'm pulling, you know, one additional card after that, which is um, having a lot of um, carrying other people's burdens, having a lot of responsibilities and burdens, okay? That's, you have two cards. So in, in the immediate future, you have a lot of things on your plate, obstacles. Um, it's struggles, struggling. And then later down the line into May, because I pulled a couple cards, because I don't like to leave off on a bad note, you need to start saying no. You are caring too much. Whatever your limits are, whether it's financial responsibilities, household responsibilities, kids' responsibilities, it's too much. Um, you're, you know, it's, I always talk about how the Libra is like this, and then suddenly they're like this, okay? Because they've taken on too much, and it's just suddenly they go right over the edge of Niagara in a barrel, you know? And it's, Bye bye, Libra. <laughs> you know, say Libra goes crazy. You know, so so you can't you can't get to that point. And I feel like my mom would say you're cruising for a bruising. You know what I'm saying? You know, starting the, the, the tail end of April, you have this pocket. Like I said, it's a pocket of joy and happiness and abundance and prosperity. And you're looking for love and you're looking for commitment. But later down the line you're taking on too much. Um, you're dealing with someone who doesn't want commitment, someone who's got a negative, who's very negative in your life, at the very least. You're very overwhelmed by your feelings, their negative feelings. To me, this is a, this is a, this is a, this is like a shit storm from, from emotional hell. You know, Aquariuses don't like emotional hell. Okay. This is, this is what I used to call the black hand of emotional death. Okay. And I, the black hand I used to think of from that, I don't know if you watched that movie, Hideous Kinky with Kate Winslet. It was such a strange movie. It was probably the strangest movie she's ever done. The most weird movie I've ever seen. But it's like, <sighs> the black hand of emotional death is when, and this is what I, the phrase, okay, that I coined, okay, is when, you know, you find out that somebody's cheating on you. Or you find out that they don't want a commitment or you've gotten into yourself and in, in, in fallen in love with someone and it's not real, you know, or they don't, you know, you break up with someone and then suddenly you're just like, oh, like it just feels like you're being suffocated emotionally. Um, and to me, that's what it feels like. Um, and it could just be that you're suffocated emotionally. You know, they have too many emotions. You have too many emotions. You may have some very strong Pisces in your chart. Even, like, I'm getting also, like, check your Rahu K2. You may be, like, a Virgo um, North Node and a Pisces South Node. Um, I think it's Virgo and Pisces. Yeah, it would be Virgo and Pisces. I think it's Virgo Pisces. Um, uh, north or south node in Pisces, okay? Um, this is very strong Piscean energy. And then this to me is strong um, also 
water sign energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. Even though um, there's a lot of air here too, could be also, to me this is you Libra, to me this is you, okay? Um, and this could be, this could be the um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, because this is air, so this is, you know, it could be a Libra, Libra combination, Libra, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, but to me, this feels very um, emotional. It feels very emotional. Not as much headspace. This is headspace, but combine them together, it's what I call the black hand of emotional death where you find out something about the partner or things aren't really working with the partner and it's it's not a healthy or happy place to be. Um, and even if you kind of can get past this with your partner uh, over the fear and over, and in taking a more proactive, I always I was talking about this in another video, a couple other videos, taking a more proactive approach to life, um, which is instead of waiting for things to happen, going out and getting whatever it is that you want, be a hunter gatherer, you know? Um, if you're especially a labor females, because females make great hunter gatherers, okay? But whatever you do, start saying no, start limiting, start saying, okay, I've had enough. I don't want to take on anymore. Say no. Who gives a shit? Who cares if everybody hates your guts? They're not gonna. Okay, that's the thing. You may, you, you have, you feel like, I feel like you have, I feel like you think you have something to prove. Um, but you don't. Because um, you're worthy of love no matter what. Okay? You're always worthy of love. So you don't have to go overboard and prove to the world that you're capable of carrying on uh, a million responsibilities and doing it all. You don't have to prove anyone that. Um, you're good enough, you know? Um, so just keep that in mind. Keep that in the back of your mind. Okay, so um, generally, you know, I, I don't like to leave off on a bad note, cause, but I pulled several extra cards. Um, so I'm going to just say you're going to have to turn things around um, and um, going into May, really start to turn things around for yourself um, by being positive by not worrying, by getting into that um, non-emotional space, just thinking clearly um, and seeing the light at the end of the tunnel because uh, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, for those of you who are married, I feel like I didn't speak to you guys um, too much. Um, I feel like it's more financial issues. There may be arguments about that. Um, but I feel like if you're married, I feel like the universe is trying to, is testing you a little bit in your relationship. Some of you, things may be really good and others it might be total shit. So really it's just going to depend. I would recommend a private reading if you're in a marriage situation because this to me it feels a lot like it's more about dating. And so it may not be totally applicable to you um, in this spread. So... Um, so anyways, thank you so much for messaging me and subscribing and, um, just being really great clients. I love you guys. Um, I send you lots of love, big hugs, big kisses, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care.